Have you ever been stirring your wine to degas and realized that your shoulders were on fire and you've been stirring for a long time and it was still bringing up bubbles? I've got a solution for you. Hi, I'm Tim Vandergrift, your technical winemaking advisor. Today I'm going to be talking about the three-pronged wine whip. Now, degassing is a crucial element of making any kit wine. The manufacturer's instructions say that you must stir vigorously to remove all gas from solution. But that takes a lot of work with a spoon. There are some degassing whips on the market that work quite well, but none of them are quite like the three-pronged whip. Let me show you why. When you attach this whip to your drill, it's got three very long prongs, and the point of stirring your wine isn't actually to stir it, it's to agitate it, to actually thrash the wine to get the carbon dioxide gas out of solution. These whips are so long that at speed they spread out and rotationally they go through the wine much, much faster than any other whip on the market. Plus, there's a secret trick you can do with this degasser that works spectacularly. So let me show you what happens when you turn it on. At slow speeds, it's got a normal span, but at top speed, it's a savage burst of stirring action. So let's show you how to use it. First step, sanitize it and get it ready for use. Second step, into your carboy to be degassed. Fold the prongs, put them in, all the way to the bottom. Now, don't just go off half cocked and start stirring right away. If your wine is a little too foamy, you could get foam over and splash out and it would be very disappointing. Instead, a tiny experimental stir first to make sure you're not gonna have a problem. Looks like we're gonna be okay. The sequence that we want to do is to stir full power in one direction and as soon as the wine starts to try and climb out of the carboy, as soon as it starts to catch up with the rotational speed of the whip, we want to reverse it and stir against the flow. That'll keep the wine from coming out of the carboy and it will also double the effective speed of the whip inside the wine. Watch and I'll show you what I mean. That's how easy it is. By reversing the drill and using full power, you can effectively degas a six gallon batch of wine in under two minutes. Now, the wine whip may seem a little bit extravagant if you're only ever doing one batch, but if you have three, four, five, or six batches to do at the same time, you are gonna save so much labor and so much pain in your shoulder from the stirring, it's completely worth it. It's one of my favorite tools for winemaking. I'm Tim Vandergrift, your technical winemaking advisor. Thanks for watching.